Good morning, everybody. Happy February 4th of 2019. I am in glorious Coral Gables, Florida. So if I look a little tan, I am. I'm sending it all back to you guys in the Northeast. Um, okay, so a couple things for today. <coughs> um, excuse me. So February energy um, is, uh, is quite good. So um, we've got, we're kind of halfway, not kind of, we're exactly halfway between winter solstice and um, spring equinox, uh, which is in late March. So that means we're getting close to spring, and um, I know that is uh, feels like a relief. Um, tonight is the new moon, so that's all about new beginnings. Hi, Maureen. Nice to see you here. Um, <coughs> so um, in this mid-season, like in between the two seasons, um, it brings with us a distinctive knowing um, really that it's time to keep moving forward. The things that you started to think about or want to bring about this year um, is coming. And so it's almost like a new start again to the year. <coughs> I'm releasing for all of us. Isn't that great? <coughs> okay. So Time to keep moving ahead with these dreams of 2019 and to uh, reestablish and reinvigorate our focus on our projects and momentum forward. Um, a good way to do this is through nature. Um, it's very invigorating and, this, and to go outside and make sure that you connect with nature every day in some way. Um, and that's a theme throughout today's reading. Um, so even if it's just for a couple of minutes, I know it's super cold, like up in Canada and um, up in the Northeast, super cold, but you still can go outside for a couple of minutes and get some fresh air and, um, and be grateful for it. No complaining. So don't step outside and be like, ah! No, step outside with that feeling of, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful to be here right now, breathing in this fresh air. Hi, Michelle. So, um, so yeah, so that it's a totally different way to take nature and um, air into you when you are grateful for it and you're connecting with the earth and uh, the earth's energy right at that moment. So, um, so yeah. We're above zero today, yay, Sandra! That's awesome, one of my Canadian peeps. So, yeah, so exactly, if you're above zero, come on, it's fine. Okay, also feeling the slower uh, kind of pace right now um, while your brain, ego, personality is a little calmer, you can then um, really feel more of what's coming from your heart center, so, um, Okay, Venus is also influencing us this week and will support us in waking up, shaking off, you know, any negative energy and um, motivating us again to change, to go, th you know, to continue moving forward in terms of what we have intended uh, for this year. Okay, um, so as we continue to live more congruently, um, you know, with our souls, some of us are really shedding a lot of incongruent situations. And um, sometimes that happens gently, little by little, and other times it's brutal. And I have many dear friends who are just um, going through some really challenging, hard, super hard times with relationships and with people in their lives. So sending everyone so much love, strength, courage, and realize that the energy is supportive of all of that happening right now. Um, okay, so our oil of the week is patchouli, one of my all-time faves. I just love patchouli. I love doTERRA's patchouli. Everyone's like, not everyone, many people are worried it's gonna smell like 
sort of hippie patchouli, shall we say. And um, this does not. It's a clean smelling patchouli. It's great to mix with citruses, wild orange, like geranium, frankincense, love it. Anyway, it's the oil of physicality and groundedness. Um, it helps us to reconnect back in with ourselves. It also really helps us when we're feeling lonely or empty inside um, due to huge changes or circumstances like we were just talking about. So um, it also tones the skin, fights infection, um, and it digests toxic material in the body. Um, I don't know exactly what that means. I'm not gonna delve into it though, so use your imagination. Um, but sounds good, right? We don't, no, none of us need toxic material in our body, and it's great uh, that we have an oil that will help us to get rid of it. Okay, our stone of the week is moss agate. Such a beauty, like green and kind of whitish, grayish stuff going through it. Really beautiful. Um, moss agate strengthens and stabilizes. It also helps to balance emotions um, with physical and intellectual energy. So again, this is why it's so important to make sure that you get outside, connect with nature if you are in a state or a place where you can uh, be barefoot. That is really great. Um, again, being out in nature in any capacity, breathing it in and, and feeling that gratitude and groundedness to, to Mother Earth um, is really gonna help. <clears throat> and then having a crystal on you, you know, keeps that connection going. Um, moss agate also helps to harmonize the yin and yang energies that we have inside of us. So, okay, um, so uh, cards. So I completely forgot to bring the physical cards with me. So luckily there's apps um, of Oracle cards. So hello, um, I just used my apps on my uh, phone so I don't have show and tell cards. So you'll have to again use your imagination. Um, our first card is Cordelia out of our, gu our goddess guidance deck and Literally, I can't make this up, literally, Cordelia says, go outside, get fresh air daily, be grateful. So there you go, another confirmation. Um, our second card comes from the Quan Yin deck, and this one was called the Threshold, which, is, um, which says you are there, you are here, you are there, you are exactly on that threshold of where um, you're really coming into a sacred passing through a karmic veil into, into a new type of a life, a more empowered life of peace and spiritual service to humanity and joy in your soul, which is just so, so beautiful. And that's really what we're all doing, you know? That's why we're all going through all of the changes and some of us the really hard and challenging challenge, you know, changes in our lives. It's all in order to come into this new life, a new way of living, a new way of empowered life and living and, um, and spiritual service to humanity and joy. So it's all for such a good, good reason. Good morning, Caroline, good to see you. <clears throat> okay, and our third and final card of today is from the Work Your Light, Rebecca Campbell, one of my faves. And again, she's got an Oracle deck, so all of these things you can get through the App Store, which is so nice. This one was called um, The Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Um, your intuition and your soul's tribe. So you are being called to let your intuition move into you physically. So again, I think that's where the um, patchouli comes in as well because it's, it brings things into us and keeps it in our physical body so that we can really feel it. And when our intuition, as we grow our intuition muscle, we start to feel really feel things in our bodies. We get the chills, we 
you heard me coughing before and like coughing or yawning or um, having this urge to kind of blow air out like which I wind up doing too at times. Um, all of this is many times people will feel it into their gut, into their heart, will feel parts of their bodies vibrate. Um, there's so many different ways to feel your intuition. So, um, you know, when we sit quiet each day, if we can, then um, we can do that. Okay, so good question, Michelle. Wear it and diffuse it. Yes, I would say wear it and diffuse it both uh, with the patchouli this week. Um, I also highly recommend um, diffusing it with some of those other oils. Geranium, the oil of love and trust. Frankincense, the oil of truth. Um, wild orange, the oil of abundance and reducing fears. So that combination I go to a lot and I just super, super love it. So that was patchouli frankincense, geranium, wild orange. Awesome combo. Um, so you can do it that way. And again, you can then, of course, put it on you um, topically. I just put it right on me today. Um, so, so, so as you're being called to bring your intuition down into your physicality, get together with people that you love and who love you who makes you feel great when you're with them? Who, um, when you look into their eyes, you can see that they're just joyous to be around you. Um, who turns you on, helps you to be the best person that you can be um, and be yourself? Who can you be yourself around? Who brings you joy and pleasure? So um, this week, really make an effort to be around those people Number one, if you're going through challenges, reach out to the people who love you. Reach out to the people who help you to feel grounded and, and help you to feel like you're yourself and know that this is your tribe and this is what we're cultivating and this is what's real. This is what's real in every single day, every single week, especially this week. And, um, and anyway, know that I love you, I'm thinking of all of you, you're all in my heart, and, um, and I hope you have a beautiful week, and I hope if you are going through any challenges, please use your oils, reach out to people who love you, um, get into nature so that you can remind yourself and give yourself some perspective on your life. Um, so. That's all I've got. Make it a great day. I'm going to go and lie in the sun a little more. Just for you guys. You know what I mean? All right. Love you guys. Bye.